Hey everyone, good evening. This is Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Another session of Azure Administrator, and in this session, we will discuss about the one of important service of uh, Azure Administrator content. So basically, we are trying to understand about the concept of Azure Active Directory services, right? So let's recap about the topics that we completed. So in last session, we discussed about basic under uh, identification of Azure portal, like types of subscription and uh, how portal look like and what are the prerequisites that help us to create our Azure portal. Because you know that without subscription or without the account, we are unable to perform any task over Azure portal. So let's try to understand about the topics. So we just need to open content Azure AG104 and uh, we have already discussed about uh, the first topic, the second agenda as per the content, the second agenda is related to the managed identity and governance in Azure, right? Because we have already discussed about the prerequisites. So in case of prerequisites, you should know about uh, uh, the services which is available on Azure portal, how to sign up ourselves over portal and uh, some important part like as a uh, uh, cloud sale or uh, uh, you can say that uh, CLI or SDK, how we can manage our portal services with the help of GUI and with the help of CLI as well. But now I'm just going to move ourselves to next topic. So next uh, topic is related to manage identity and uh, uh, governance in Azure. So in this part, the first topic is related to the introduction and about the describe Azure Active Directory benefits and features, uh, describe Azure Active Directory concept, Compare Active Directory domain services to Azure Active Directory domain services that you need to perform on on-premises because you know that uh, with the help of server operating system, we are able to configure Active Directory services on on-premises. So let's talk from the very basic, describe Azure Active Directory benefits and features. N number of features, you can say that N number of features and uh, uh, N number of uh, uh, kind of services which is available on Azure portal. So let me explain you in our world uh, how, how how we can use the Azure Active Directory services and why it is important. The important part the part is why it is important for any organization. So our agenda is to understand about Azure Active Directory, right? Azure AD. As we know that uh, in on-premises, if you have a multiple client, like you establish a number of client based on Windows 7, Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system, and you want to control the each and every machine, you want to provide the delegation services, you want to control with the help of policies. So what you need to do, you need to establish a one server operating system. In server operating system, you need to install uh, Active Directory services and with the help of AD, we are able to configure and manage the our client operating systems. So as it is, Whenever we log in ourselves over Azure portal, right? So as we know that we are planning to be a uh, Azure administrator. So it's our responsibility to manage each and every services which is available on portal. For example, this is Azure portal. Okay. And uh, as we know that over Azure portal, we have a N number of services like we are able to create virtual machine. We can configure the storage. We are able to establish a uh, VNet databases n number of options are available as it is we have one of important service called azure ad the usage of azure ad you can say that by using the single azure active directory service we are able to manage n number of services and n number of security features as well so let's talk about the actual usage of azure active directory with the help of single azure ad we are able to manage multiple portals you can say that like you know that we have a one of important portal called uh, Office 365 and O365 is also a product of Microsoft. We know about Microsoft Intune services, right? MS Intune and we can configure our Azure Virtual Desktop. It's a VDI solution and you can also co uh, manage the services related to the Azure. MS Intune and second uh, Office 365, second is MS Intune. Third is AVD, Azure Virtual Desktop, and fourth is related to Azure Services. So in this case, we have a virtual machine, storage, right, networking, a number of options are available over Azure portal means we are able to purchase a number of resources with the help of Azure. 
with the help of single azure active directory services we can control each and every part related to the office 365 and as we know that office 365 can help us to manage the mailing services you can manage the mail users license security right these all are the points that you are able to manage with the help of office 365 and ad second important part microsoft intune so as we know that microsoft intune can help us to uh, control or enroll the on premises devices you can say that it is used to control remote devices remote devices in the sense like as a mobile phone tablet desktop laptop uh, you can configure and manage you can enroll your device over a microsoft intune portal and you can manage each and everything like in, you, can, you can deploy the policy you can install the application you can control the logins each and every options which is managed by the microsoft intune but to enroll your devices as ready come into the picture because without ad user we are unable to uh, enroll any on premises machine as it is talk about the azure virtual desktop so azure virtual desktop it's a vdi solution the meaning of vdi solution is correlated to the virtual desktop interface with the help of vdi we can manage a single user we can access the single virtual machine from multiple active directory user so yes active directory again come into the picture if you want to establish the azure virtual desktop next another important part is correlated to the azure resources like you want to create a virtual machine you want to establish a storage you want to establish a database and you want to provide the control to each and every resources with the help of azure active directory user so yes a single azure ad responsible to manage o365 user responsible to manage microsoft intune services azure virtual desktop and another resources which is available on azure portal so i hope you all of you guys are able to understand about the concept of azure ad a single azure ad can manage multiple portals you can say that second important part as per the agenda let's talk about uh, 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 concept so concept you can compare your uh, azure active directory services with on premises like as uh, you establish a one domain controller on on premises server 2016 and with the help of on premises ad we are able to create a user group organizational unit group policy right delegation services and number of features are available on on premises active directory so just like just like on premises azure ad can also create a, a user group policies you can manage your you can join your user uh, you can join your on premises machine with the help of azure ad join so these all are the options that you are able to perform with the help of azure active directory and uh, now talk about active directory domain services to azure ad so active directory domain services for the active directory domain services what you need to do this is our server 2016 that you establish on on premises okay this is our uh, server 2016 for example which is established on on premises and we have a n number of client operating system these all are the client pc for example pc1 pc2 pc3 and these uh, client machines contain the windows operating system so with the help of our server 2016 and active directory yes by including the active directory services adds service we are able to manage these clients we can manage our client windows 7 windows 10 windows 11 operating system right you can create a user with the help of ad and control your on premises machine as it is over azure portal it is a built in service Azure AD is a built-in service, you can say that. And with the help of this particular Active Directory, we are able to create a multiple users. Just like on-premises, we can manage users, we can control the groups, right? And we also configure the policies. And a number of features which is available that we will discuss in practical part. So this is the actually basic information about Azure AD. So let's move ourselves to the portal and try to understand about the concept, how we can work it, how, how, how Active Directory can, can work. You need to open Azure AD, Azure portal and uh, over Azure portal, we are able to find one option security. Under the security part, you will find the services related to the Active Directory. So what you need to do, we just need to click more services and it will redirect you on the page of our dashboard as your portal dashboard you can say that mm -hmm. 
right in the lap left panel we just need to click on security and in the security part the one of important option active directory so we just need to click on active directory services and click users group external identities roles administrator unit and number of options are available but our responsibility to understand about the user and group which is our object just need to click on users and it will provide you option to create a new user account right although i have already created uh, multiple users so i'm just going to create one more click new and select the username you can put any name like i wanted to create uh, net this is our username display name is also net what i'm going to do i'm just going to proceed with my uh, default password click create so the password and copy it and click create we are able to find uh one user is ready to use just need to refresh the page and one user that we created with name of net you are able to find net at the rate cloudcaxa.in so with the help of active directory user we have a various way to use it you can open another portal like as a portal.azure.com you just need to open now uh, incognito wizard and now type username net at the rate cloudcaxa dot in provide the password right the password that you copied next and it's the first login so you must need to change your password provide your own password and sign in so with the help of azure active directory uh, services we are able to create a user and with the help of same user account we can open another portal we have a number of option like as a rbac service we have a iem service by using rbac or iem service we are able to distribute our resources we are able to distribute our subscription with the azure active directory portal so we will try to understand each and everything but step by step one by one and this is all about the active directory for today and we'll connect tomorrow on same time 5 pm est and uh, we'll give you another video based on the azure active directory services for today thank you take care and bye bye and do subscribe your on youtube channel teach me cloud take care guys bye bye